Welcome back. At this point in our course, you've covered quite a lot. You've learned how to write processing code to create shapes and lines, and have now learned about the two most important coding constructs, repetition and decisions. In this training video, we will continue to explore how decisions can be used in programming. So far, we have seen how we can use an if statement in our processing code to control whether we do something or not. So we have seen examples where, based on the evaluation of an expression, we have chosen whether or not to display a shape or draw a line. We have also seen examples where we have chosen between two options using the if-else statement combination. Now we are going to look at some slightly more complex examples where we have used decisions in our code to make interesting images. Imagine that we wanted to draw a set of nested rectangles such as this. We could do this by using the following code. This code uses a for loop to draw a series of rectangles where each rectangle is 20 pixels smaller in height and width than the last. What if we wanted to change this image so that every second rectangle was drawn in a different colour, like this? We could use a decision to do this. Let's think about the pattern that we are creating. The first rectangle is green, the second rectangle is red, the third is green, the fourth red, the fifth green, the sixth red, and so on. What is the pattern that we can see here? That's right, every odd-numbered rectangle is green, while every even-numbered rectangle is red. We can include a condition in our code that tests for whether the current rectangle is an odd or an even numbered rectangle, and then change the stroke colour to either red or green. Let's think about what that condition might be. We know when we have an even number when we divide by 2 and the remainder is 0. We can do this in processing using the modulo operator. The calculation 8 modulo 2 would give a result of 0 indicating a remainder of 0 as 8 is an even number. The calculation 9 modulo 2 would give a result of 1. 9 is an odd number. So we could include an if statement in our code that tests for this condition. We can use the value of i in our for loop as our test, as it tells us which number rectangle we are drawing. Let's put this together in our program. 